Okay, so hi everybody and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new tarp from Moonwind. Okay, so welcome back everyone. As in a little intro today, I'm going to be talking you through the new tarp that I've picked up from Moonwind. Um, so I picked up the tarp using all the affiliation sort of money that I've earned on there, or some discounts on there, some money off, and I'm going to pick it up. Uh, so when you get the tarp, you'll receive it in like a snakeskin draw bag, just like so. Okay, so it's corded on both ends. All right, and then just allows you to sort of pass through, so you can leave it over a ridge line or something that is a, a really simple nice and simple cool feature it also comes in like this shower proof bag that we've got here uh, now that's ideal for you know big enough spacious enough for when you're breaking down camp and you just want to throw it in there just to sort of get it out and keep it separated from inside your bag uh, so that's brilliant uh, you also get in here a number of these sort of aluminium triple nooked stakes and then also a number of these sort of two mil climbing accessory cord um, guy lines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting it up and I'll bring it back Just going uh, around the tarp, you can see all these sort of nylon uh, webbing tie out points, and then you can see that here it's double stitched and on the underside uh, seam taped as well. And it's very really sort of neat as well. It's, you know, some tarps can be sort of thrown together, but this one's been uh, quite well, well manufactured by the look of it. Uh, you got, I think it's called banding or something like that when you do this with a sewing machine, just sort of up tacking, I think it's called, up and down the nylon thread and then sort of single stitched all the way around um, and then so that's your central point your central ridge line there and then coming down to your tie out points on the corners identical to what I've just shown you up there um, except this point here they've added on probably about 10 inches of bungee cord wonder where I saw that idea <laughs> uh, so yeah bungee cord just allows for that little bit of give in sort of windy conditions and then just a, a tiny carabiner that I'm presuming I'm just going to clip in just take uh, the guy on. line first of all come down this is the your tie out point on your corner I'm just going to keep that on my hand for a second so what I'm going to do with the end here I'm just going to make a fixed loop overhand knot just so that we've got somewhere to clip this carabiner if you're not any good with any knots I have got a little bit of a series on knots not too many in there started them during the first lockdown but yeah it's a, an overhand fixed loop knot and then what you can do is just go to your carabiner and just tie that clip that straight in there and that is nice and simple perfect idea and it came with uh, six of these little guy lines as such uh, so you've got one left for either side of the ridge line uh, so the easiest way I can think of attaching this to that without damaging it is probably a cow hitch Again, if you're not quite familiar with knots, uh, I've done the playlist, which I'll leave in the description for you. But just pass through. 
and we'll eventually attach a bobble or a bit of bungee onto here pass through and then just pass all the cord back through itself on a loop you probably use this not a million and one times and not known the correct name for it we well, yeah, just a very sort of simple cow hitch on there right now we're going to get it set up so I'm just setting it up quite low just so that you can see the knots that I'm going to be tying uh, where I am hopefully is just going to be big enough I'm going to do the same knot on either side so whatever I film on this side you not no need to bother doing it on that side uh, but yeah we'll uh, get this cellophane off pop it in my pocket and then we'll just uh, tie a quick simple knot we'll go around the tree just sort of come back on itself Do that again, come back on itself, and when we get to this point, go over with a loop, bit of a twist, and then just pull through itself, and uh, that's it. Okay, as you can see, it's quite a long tarp. 12 foot I think it is um, and then obviously with these bungee cords now this isn't somewhere that I'd set a hammock up it's just obviously for demonstration on the tarp so again probably 10 to 12 inches of bungee cord stretching to nearly twice that you could probably peg out just using this when the guy lines attached with a simple carabiner as well going along the tarp you can see we've got another double ended tie out point which I'll bring you in a little bit closer and show you uh, two of them on either side and then we've got another central one in the top as well. It's going to be ideal for all kinds of different setups. Right, let's bring in and show you the details. Okay, so this is what I meant by sort of a double-ended sort of tie-out. You've got a loop here and a loop there as well. So you can put cordage in either of them and just sort of pull out and give yourself a, a different shape with your tarp. It's going to be great for all kinds of different tarp setups, tarpology, which I might do a series on using this tarp uh, for that reason. But yeah, you can see it's got a, its own sort of individual stitched tie-out point around there as well. Perfect. A cool, well-thought-out feature that I like is you can actually use these points here to tie out. I'll just uh, pinch one of these guy lines a second. Yeah, so if you tie out on this point here, so it's your second pin-out, you can then bring these in and close them together as like a, a front door on the tarp system. So imagine you're pinned out there and then you can bring them in and cinch them in. So again, just showing you using the second tie out point going off there. You can then use this as like a door, just sort of bring it in on both sides and cinch them together like a door, keeping out some inclement weather. Really do like it. it's a really really well thought out tarp and you've got enough coverage just on the insides there for any sort of standard size hammock. Um, obviously it will pair well with the one wind hammock but ideal. Okay so another cool feature is this sort of guy line tensioner uh, with a little bit of bungee. So what you could do is create a fixed loop knot and then go off to your peg and then come in this way and then come back through the guy line tensioner like so and then clip it in to where you want it and just give it a good grip come back on yourself there feed back through the hole and just gives you a really good grip there but then what you do with the excess cordage then if I just unhook, unhook this a minute what you could do then is just clip it against itself like a little clip on there and just clip on your bungee it just keeps all your cordage just nice and neatly off of the ground uh, just a really nice, simple, great addition to a well thought out tap. In a little bit closer, just to show you that again. Um, so you've got the, the little clip there that you can create going around there. And then just clip back over the bungee. And it just, as I said, keeps everything nice and tight, nice and neat. Ideal. Just do that off a second. But these little guy line tensioners really nice and simple to use so if i just find my, my loose end on this one where is it 
There it is actually. So what you do, you come up through the back, like so, and then just nice and simply back down through the hole and just clip it in. Just creates a nice little bit of tension, bit of rigidity to stop you pulling back on it. So that a nice simple clip. So imagine you're going off to your peg uh, with this one. So you put it out, it's only nice and close and you can keep all that cordage then nice and neat using this little retaining clip. Going over both bungees, keeping it up off the ground in like inclement weather. Really cool, nice little feature. So yeah, as you can see, there's plenty of different tie-out options, uh, plenty of nice little key features, the bungee on all the tie-out points, the little cord retainers down there, and then the, just the two mil climbing accessory cord, and then the three pronged pegs. All very, very well thought out um, items on this brilliant tarp. The double-ended tie-out points here, I really like as well. Again, I'll come back and do like a typology series uh, using this type and all the different setups that I can think of. So if you've got any ideas for any type shelters that I may not think of, uh, you know, the standard ones, you've got your type shelter, you've got your plow point, uh, standard A-frame, all them kind of things. If you can, if you think of one that's quite unusual, let me know in the comments. Uh, as always, there'll be a link to go and purchase one of these directly from Mumwind and a discount code, which I'll flash up on here for you now. Um, in the in the description box below but yeah ideal perfect bit of kit now i'm going to do something that not many people show you i'm going to show you how to put it away so i've gone around and just unclipped all the guy lines from the carabiners where i tied the fixed loop knots i'm just going to hang this underneath the tarp at the minute all the guy lines and pegs are in there but what, what you do put these away if you just Create that bite on your finger there and you can just start hanking it up by going backwards and forwards over your finger and thumb and alternate sort of figure of eight motion so I'll slow it down come back a couple so going around your thumb crossing over round your finger back over round your thumb okay then you want about a metre from there and then you take it off your finger and thumb and you should be left with this and then from there you just want to start wrapping and pulling in neat so all I'm doing is going over and then just neatening it up over neatening it up going then just till you've got like three turns left somewhere about there and then with your three turns left you want to go diagonally back over all the threading and then come back over the cross point and then just go back up the center of your cross forming a clove hitch and that keeps it all nice and neat ready to go on your next one so that's that bag done and dusted all your guy lines all your pegs so you come to one side of your ridge line See, I've just got a toggle there keeping through the loop. Just pull away, remove your toggle, then grab your tail end, just pull, and that's that knot undone. And just go around the tree in reverse order to what you've already got, and just loosen everything until we're done. Then do the same again with these guy lines, but leave these ones attached to your tarp. Okay, so when you've got both ends of your ridge line nice and neatly done up, find your ridge line and two corner points, spread out. Don't to get caught in the trees. Same on the opposite side, your two corner points are here. And your ridge line one is here. 
so that you've got a near enough rectangle. Let's bring that down for you a bit. Okay, and then you want to fold it again in half. So bring corner points up to your ridge line. Make that nice and neat this time. Again, corner points to your ridge line. Making this nice and neat. Okay, and then do one more time folding over. Much easier when you've got somebody with you. Okay, then from there, you just want to sort of fold into three sections. Making sure you've got all your corners sort of coming to the middle. And then again, going over to the end point. Then you've got your tarp in sort of a nice manageable rectangle there. And then you can just put everything inside it, so the pegs, and then start to roll. Sort of rolling away from your folds getting rid of any air that you may have created in there letting it escape back out for the loose points of the tap last final press see we have caught a little bit of air in there and then nice and neatly rolled up then when you got to this point what you can do is use your bungees then to just keep it nice and neat just clip one carabiner that way and one identical that way just keep it nice and neat and a lot easier to put into the storage bag and you can let go using one hand so again your storage sack double ended opening so close one end and coming through the bottom never goes right on camera does it but yeah going over the top there and then just coming down nice and neat encompassing all the hard work you've just done sort of folding rolling kneeling getting all the air out of your tap And there you go. It's not folded perfectly. You know, there's room for error being in a storage sack like this. No, oh, but there you go. All nice and neatly packed away, ready for the next adventure. Okay, so this has been a quick review and overview of this, the One Wind 12 foot tap. Again, I'm going to put it back into this sort of old swimming bag I want to keep calling these will come in very very handy keeping your gear your wet gear away from your dry gear in your packs as well get all the air out of them and you can make it as small as what's in there so ideal but yeah it's been a quick review again there's a purchase link in the description box below and the code which I'll flash on the screen for you now um, to go and purchase this get yourself a little bit of discount I get a little bit of discount off my next purchase win-win and obviously one win get a sale so a win for them as well uh, but yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought about it don't forget to let me know about any tarp shelters that you want me to go ahead and do with this tarp and uh, if you're not already subscribe to the channel by pressing this more videos here and here for you see you in the next one